Okay, we are going to do some reviews for our Digraph CK today. So, listen very carefully, and we're going to get started. All right, so I'm going to say a word in two parts. Li, k. The beginning sounds are l, i, and the last sound is k. When I put them together, I get the word lick. What is the last sound you hear in lick? The k sound is the sound we hear at lick. So let's all say k, 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 k. Now I'm going to say another word. Are you ready? Tra, k. What was my word? If you said track, you are awesome. Okay. So today we're going to learn some more about the consonant digraph CK. So remember, a digraph are two letters that come together and cannot be pulled apart. This is a picture of a tack. The word tack ends with the k sound. So we have a letter C and we have a letter K. And you know that CK says k. So when they're together, they team up. You can't pull them apart. And they say k. Sometimes, most of the time, I hear k after a short vowel. So let's look at some pictures of words that end with the k. Tack. Ah, they went fast. Duck, backpack, sick, and rock. So remember, your digraph CK are two letters that come together to make a k sound, and they cannot be pulled apart. All right. Get ready for your next part. So for this part, if you want at home, you can get a piece of paper or your mat that you can ride on and erase with, and we're gonna do this together. Here we go. Now we're gonna work to practice um, using the k, the CK to spell the k at the end of words with short vowels. So at home, I want you to go ahead and write CK on a separate piece of paper, on a sticky note, on a card, or at the end of, end of your paper. Okay, now be listening. I'm going to say a word. If you hear a k at the end of this word, it's going to be spelled with CK. So when you hear a k, hold up your letters and say k. If you don't hear a k at the end, you just sit as still as a statue. So here we go. Here's some words. If you hear the k at home, make sure you're holding up your cards. Here we go. Sock. Sing. Pig. Thick, shack, rug, rock. All right, so when you heard sock, thick, shack, and rock, you should have held up a card or your paper that had Digraph CK on it. All right, now I want you to say the name of this picture at home. Right, it's a lock. All right, so it's a lock. What does this word end with? It ends with CK. How about kick? What does kick end with? It ends with CK. Ah, how about lick? I know that was kind of a hard one for a minute. You're like, puppy, dog. But no, look, he's got his tongue out. He can lick. It looks like a little licker. Lick ends with CK. Duck. D -a -k. He ends with CK. Neck. Mmm. Ek. Guess what? He ends with CK. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> that one got me, guys. I don't know. We're going to move past it. We're going to move past that one, too, because I'm just not entirely sure. Lock, I guess. And rock. So rock. Er, ock. Backpack. Hey, back ends with a k, and pack ends with a k, and they both are CK. All right, so listen, one more time. We're almost done. Um, which one of these two words ends with a CK? Stick or step? Shout it out at home. Which one ends with a CK? Stick or step? Shout it out at home. Ready? One, two, three. Shout it. Yay! If you said stick, 
You are correct. It was stick. Nice work. You get to party down in Paris. Look, this is France. This is the Eiffel Tower. And you know how we're always kidding around about sending suffix S off to France? Guess what? He could be here because this is France. So that's pretty cool, huh? Thanks for hanging in with me and doing the review of Digraph CK.